Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A1 from Putnam 2023. For a positive integer n, let fn of x be the product of cosine of x all the way to cosine of nx. Find the smallest n such that fn double prime of 0 is, is greater than 2023. So we're going to start plugging different values of n and see if we can find a pattern and see how we can solve the problem. f1 of x is cosine of x, f1 prime of x is negative sine of x, and f1 double prime of x is negative cosine of x. So we can easily evaluate f1 double prime of 0 to be negative 1, so its absolute value is 1. If we plug in n equals 2, we're going to see a pattern a little bit easier, so things get a bit more messy. f1 prime becomes negative sine times cosine, and then negative cosine times 2 sine. Now we take when we take the derivative of this one, we'll have to use two product rules. So f1 double prime becomes, the first one is negative sine, and then we take the derivative of this one, cosine of 2x. When we plug in 0, it doesn't matter because this is going to end up being 0 because this is 0. And when we take the derivative of the first one, we get negative cosine times cosine of 2x, which when we plug in 0, we get 1. The second term becomes negative sine, if we take the derivative of that, so we get plus sine times 2 sine of 2x, so this becomes 0, and then we get negative cosine of x, and then 2 squared cosine of 2x. So when we plug in 0, f1 double prime of 0 becomes negative 1 minus 2 squared. So we kind of see the pattern now. When we take the derivative, we'll have to keep differentiating different terms. So most of the terms are going to have a sign, which means they are going to be 0 when you plug in 0 for x. So now, how do we articulate that? Because differentiating that twice because of the n different terms is going to be quite messy. So perhaps the best way of articulating that would be using Taylor series. So let's look at fn of x. So it is cosine of x, which is 1 minus x squared over 2. The rest of the terms have x to the fourth. So let's say x to the fourth g1 of x. 1 minus 2x squared over 2, and then plus x to the fourth g2 of x, etc. So the last term is going to be 1 minus nx squared over 2, plus x to the fourth gn of x. When we multiply these out, we get a constant of 1, because all of them have just 1. There is no linear term. The quadratic term is going to be minus x squared over 2, minus 2x squared over 2, all the way to minus nx squared over 2. And then everything else is going to have a factor of x to the fourth at the very least. So let's write it down like this. When you differentiate this one, you get fn prime of x equals, the first term is going to be 0, this one is going to be x minus 2 squared x minus n squared x for these terms. And then this term is going to be 4x cubed h of x plus x to the fourth h prime of x. When you differentiate again, fn double prime of x gives you minus 1 minus 2 squared all the way to minus n squared and the rest of the terms are going to have at least 1x so 12x squared h of x plus 4x cubed h prime of x plus 4x cubed h prime of x and then plus x to the fourth h double prime of x so fn double prime of 0 is going to be minus 1 minus 2 squared minus n squared and in order for this to be greater than 2023 n must be at least 18 which you can get by a simple calculation so the answer to the problem is n equals 18. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. My focus is on problem solving and walking you through the process by which I obtain solutions. I will see you in the next video.